Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Speeding up video in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, sometimes you need to speed up video, either for a visual effect or maybe just you need to fit video into a smaller spot and, and speed it up. There's a few ways to do it. It's incredibly easy. Let's go have a look. So here I've got the same clip in two places. This is the normal speed and this is the one that I'm going to change the speed on. Uh, the easiest way to do this is, well, there's two ways that are, are easy. One way is to right click and choose speed duration. And you can see the speed is 100% and if I, and the duration is 411. If I make this 200%, then the duration is now a half of that. You can also reverse the speed and ripple edit the clips. Ripple editing means that as I'm speeding this up, the actual physical size of the clip is getting shorter. And if I have this turned on, all the clips that are down on the timeline will move back. But quite honestly, um, if you're changing speed, it's best to do this with video on another track in the timeline. But watch what happens, I click OK, we're now at 200%, and when I push play, it's super fast. All right, I'm going to undo that. Also show you that there's a rate stretch tool on the left-hand side, and you can select that, and grab the clip, and just make it shorter, and hit play, and now it's much faster. Um, just do one or the other, don't start at changing 50% here and then changing it over here. Decide on which way you want to go. All right, if you also want to control this in a speed ramp, so you want to change the speed in two different speeds over the clip, that's also very easy. If you look at the uh, badge in here, if I right click on that, it, by default, this keyframe right here, which is turned on in the little wrench, show video keyframes, that keyframe is opacity. If I right click and change that to speed, you can see opacity has that little bullet speed. It's in the middle now, meaning that it's 100%. It's not going faster or slower. So if I start to drag this up, we're now at 147%, and you can see it's moved over, and the clip is shorter because it's faster. If I hold the Control key on Windows Command on Mac and click in here, I'm going to click in here twice, actually. So I've now set three different levels of speed. I'm going to take the middle one and drag that up to about 200%. My clip gets shorter. It's going to be normal speed here, normal speed there, and fast in the middle. And if we zoom in on this, you can actually change. Let me make this a little bit larger. If we zoom in, we can change these little keyframes. If you move these around and separate them, we're now ramping the speed ramp so we don't go exactly from 100 to whatever this is right here, um, which is 192. We slowly go up and we slowly go down. So let's have a look at this. I mean, it's a pretty quick change. A little bit smoother. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how we can speed up footage that was originally shot um, slow-mo. And this is the best to do it with because um, you have so much information to play with. I've got a phantom click here uh, shot with a phantom camera and it's about 300 frames per second. So when I speed this up, I get this to normal speed or I can even slow this down. So let's drag this clip inside and you'll see that this is incredibly slow because again, there's lots of information in here. So I'm going to, let's take it from here. Again, I'll turn this to speed. And right at this point, um, I want a lot of speed. And then for that point, let's make it slower. So speed that up by dragging that up. And I'm going to go all the way up to 400%. Now watch what happens. I'll zoom in while that's going. And you can see there's slow, slow, slow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and you can see even at 400%, uh, that is not that fast. So let's take this up. I'm just dragging that up to a thousand percent. Now let's watch this. Watch that transition. Boom. There he goes. And then it slows down back over there. All right. You'll also notice that in the effects controls, anything I do in here is also in the time remapping section in here. So if I jump to a different keyframe in there, you'll see the keyframes right inside there. And you can also pull those uh, apart. It's a little bit difficult when we've got such a long clip in there, but you can see all the results uh, of that, or you can see the results inside here. Bottom line is, uh, speed ramps can be added to clips that were recorded in real time or in super slow-mo. They can add a very stylistic effect and sometimes they can fill gaps that need to be filled or, or reduce uh, a clip to fit in a spot uh, appropriately. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then click on the subscribe link to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time. I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.